Welcome to Mitchell and Butler's Get It. This short video will show you how to order your editable templates. To access the site, enter your user ID and password, and then select the editable templates module in the memory bar at the top of the page. This module can be used to create bespoke artwork, which can be downloaded and printed locally, or you can request for it to be printed and delivered directly. Within the module, we select the Create Order link, and we're now presented with a template search page. There are various ways that you can locate your template. You can simply click the search button, which will return all templates that are loaded to the system. Or we can use the search box to add keywords. So, for example, birthday and poster. We press search, and the system will look up any templates that match that criteria. Finally, we have a submenu bar of brands at the top, so if we want to just look at harvester templates, we click through on the link here. Each returned result will have a thumbnail of the template and a small eye icon which contains information and keywords, so you can click through there to look at more detail. If you're happy that you've located the template you'd like to use, simply click onto the Create Order link. And we are now transferred to the Briefing Details page. So we can see the template on the side here, and we can zoom in and out to see the detail, along with the number of pages. And then on the right-hand side, we can see some preloaded brief detail information, such as the description, the brand, price band, etc. There are certain elements here you will be required to update, so you'll need to add a campaign. And you'll always add A, Editable Templates. So we make the selection and you also need to add two key dates. So the date the print is required, we simply click onto the calendar icon and then the promotional start date. So that's the date you'll start using the print. Once we've done that, we can pop across to the personalised tab and this is where we can update the information seen in the template. So in this example, we're going to change the time and the date. Please note that the location will default to the location of the user that's logged in, so you won't need to change that. Once you're happy with the information, we can scroll to the bottom and we can click Preview. And if we pop across to the left, we can then see that the template has been updated with the information that we entered. If for any reason you'd like to start again, we can press the Reset button, or we can go back to the top and overtype the information here. Once we're happy that all the information entered is correct, we can then scroll down and press the Add Asset for Basket button. We will now be asked if we'd like to search for another item to add to our order, and if we want to do that, we just press the button here, and that will take us back to the template search area. If, however, we'd like to continue with our order, we just press the Continue to Basket button. Within the basket page, there are several pieces of information we need to enter. So we ask for a reason for each of your orders. If you have more than one template, you can select at the top here and that order will be selected for everything. We can also do that at template level, so we can just go down and enter it here. If it's a printed item, we need to add our allocation. So we click on the allocation button and we enter our location code. So our location is shown here and it defaults to a quantity of one, but you can overtype the quantity to whatever quantity you'd like for your order. We then press add to list and confirm at the bottom. We can now see that our quantity has been updated here. As we scroll down, we have delivery information. So there's a drop down there so that defaults to standard next day. And we also enter our bun number here. And finally, we're going to give our order a description. So that description will be shown when we're looking at our order history. So we'll call this one birthday poster, November 17 for Aintree. The other information shown here, so promo start date, department and team and order owner will be pre-populated. 
And finally, just at the bottom, we have terms and conditions and brand guidelines loaded to the system. So it's important that you have a look at those and tick here before you can proceed to process the order. Once you have selected the process order button, the system will now give you a unique order number shown here. So we'll close this down, we'll go back to our module and we'll now look at order history to locate the PDF to download or to check the status of our order. Within the order history page, there are several options in terms of searching for our template order. So we can simply enter the order number. Or we can enter details such as the order description, the order owner, or even department and teams, and then you can return multiple results underneath. Once we've found the one we're looking for, we press the search button and it's presented down here at the bottom. So we can see the order number and some other information about the order here. And then to view the PDF itself, we click onto the view button. And under the content column, we can see the PDF. So we simply click onto the icon and that artwork is downloaded directly to our local computer. Thank you for watching and if you do have any queries please contact our helpline on 0121 269 0103.